and welcome to the Gothtober 2020 Gothic Fiction Readathon. So Gothtober was created by me, your crazy letter M, but I will be co-hosted with Tish from Little Wolf and Olivia at Olivia's Catastrophe. We'll all be running some Twitter and YouTube content related to Gothtober just for you to help see you through the October month. Gothic fiction is known for being spooky, so quite a few of the prompts are spooky too. However, I do want to preface this before I even list out what the prompts are. Although they are gothic fiction related, you do not have to read gothic fiction books if you want to take part in this readathon, but you're not into the spooky stuff. Not all of us are. I mean, I am, obviously, but not all of us are. That's absolutely fine. I also want to preface before I list out all the prompts that you do not have to read a single book for each prompt. If you want to double up or want to read one book for all of the prompts, that is absolutely fine by me. We will not be tracking pages unless you wish to, but please feel free to tag me in any of the Bujo spreads because I love seeing those. Let's start with the three staples. I am planning on doing this readathon every year if possible i mean i already this is our first year so who knows what's going to happen next year but uh, olivia made a really good point that more readathons need to have representation in them as a group we decided that we wanted to have three staple prompts and that is to have an lgbtq own voices book a bame so black asian minority ethnic read and disability representation you need to have at least those three prompts ticked off. Those are the staples. And they will be, if we do this again next year, they will be prompts for next year as well. They are staples for every readathon that I will be hosting from here on out. So let's get on to the actual gothic prompts. So the first prompt is lies, liar or lying. Your title or front cover needs to have some kind of lie in it or a key theme needs to be a lie. Next is female protagonist. That should be nice and easy. Your story should be led by a female. The third prompt is bones, so you need to have either bones in the title or on the front cover of your read. The next one is red, that could be red in the title cover, that can be red pages, red spray print, something on the book has to be red for it to count. That's it. The next prompt is a book set in a foreign country. So a lot of gothic fiction books were kind of little trips abroad. We want you to read a book from a foreign country. That means any country that you are not currently residing in. I don't care if you've moved abroad and now you're living there. No, it needs to be another country. Pick a third country. The next prompt is either a modern retelling of a gothic classic or a modern gothic. Any book that's described as gothic will do. I guess I should take back the bit where I said you don't have to read any gothic fiction. I mean, you don't have to read that prompt. You don't have to read any of these prompts. This is just for you to enjoy. The next prompt is an undead character. So that includes ghosts, zombies, Frankensteins, vampires, wraiths, banshees, mummies, skeletons, any of those undead characters. If your character falls into one of those categories, it counts. The next prompt is dark academia. So that is a college or university setting with occult-ish themes. Dark academia actually covers quite a few different kind of sub, sub tropes. So find your favorite, make them dark academia and enjoy. The next prompt is your oldest purchased book. So either that's the oldest one that you have on your TBR or just the book that you've had the longest. That's the book you need to read. Gothic fiction is old. That was that was my link. That was it. And the last for the reading prompts is grey morality. Read a book with characters or themes that are morally grey. And then the last prompt is not a reading prompt. It is to watch your favourite vampire TV show episodes, doesn't have to be the whole series, or film. So that could be anything from Buffy the Vampire Slayer to Interview the Vampire, if it's got a vampire in it. Yes, Twilight also counts. That's all we want from you. It's just a nice, easy little self-care moment where you're not forcing yourself to read anymore, you're taking a break and you're enjoying some vampires. <laughs> There is a calendar as well to show you that there will be some upcoming events. We will be having Twitter reading sprints as well as live read-ins with booktubers. And we will also be doing fun events during the week to get you motivated to read some gothic fiction and to have some fun with the gothic fiction tropes. So we've got things from Scavenger Hunt to Murder Mystery Party, 
all kinds of fun things and you don't want to miss out on it. I'm also providing an activity book so there will be all kinds of fun games in there that are all gothic fiction related. There will also be some articles in there and some things that I think you'll find quite interesting about gothic fiction. It's going to be free to print, it's going to be a PDF and I'm going to release that on the 1st of October so no sneak peeking. There will also be graphics available so if you click on the link in the description you will find all the graphics for Instagram and Twitter in case you want to share any of your stuff there. I can't wait to see what your TBRs for at this. I know that I'm setting this up like a full month and ahead of when it actually starts, but that's because I like thinking about my TBR well in advance. So if you're anything like me, like you've got loads of time to just get that sorted. I'm really excited for this. This is my first ever readathon that I'm hosting, so I'm nervous, but I'm so excited. And I've got some really cool people that have agreed to do the lives, and I've got some really cool people co-hosting. I probably couldn't have done this without Olivia and Tish, so big, big props to them. Thank you very, I think I just spat everywhere. <laughs> big thanks to them. The first live will be at midnight on the 1st of October. We will be having a Q&A then, so if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below, and I will make sure that they are answered either in advance of or during that Q&A. I think that's everything. I've probably forgotten something really important, but fundamentally you've got the prompts and you've got the graphics, what more could you possibly need? I'm almost giddy, which is not, that's why I don't do goth very well. I don't know any goth that comes in with this kind of energy, but here we are. <laughs> My necklace says antagonist, because that's what I want to be. <laughs> Have a nice day.